We are at Dolphin Stadium here on Super Sunday on CBS, and welcome again to the Phil Simms All Iron Team. You know, Phil, what I love is you recognize the superstars, but at the same time, you pay tribute to the difference makers who in many cases aren't that well recognized. Well, that's right, Jim. How about this story? He's a backup running back for the Houston Texans. He went to a small college. He's undrafted, but through hard work and determination, he persevered, and he's taken his good fortune, and he is spreading it halfway around the world. My full name is Sam Khan Kyle Delgado. Sam Khan means truth. Calvo, it's a title given to the firstborn male in the family. Gatto means inheritance. My dad named me first inheritance of the truth. I thought that was pretty cool because I actually had a, my name actually meant something. Nigerian born, Sam Khan came to the U.S. at age nine. Now Americanized, playing an American sport, Gatto maintains strong feelings for his motherland. Nigeria is a beautiful country you have some beautiful scenery. The people there are incredibly warm, but there's really not much of a middle class in Nigeria. There's the super rich and then there's the super poor. If you were to go to Nigeria, you would see plush mansions right next to just absolute shacks. The nation in and of itself has so many natural resources. It's the sixth largest oil producing country in the world. And with all the money that comes in, it really stays in the hands of, of those that are in government. It never really trickles down to the general public. On a visit to meet relatives three years ago, he met a cousin who, though very ill, had just given birth to a baby girl. She was one of millions of Nigerians in desperate need of health care. When I came back to the United States, uh, I think about three or four weeks later, um, I got a call from my dad. He told me that her and the baby had died, and they think it was AIDS. It was kind of hard to take that, you know, that, that baby didn't even live up to two months old, and and it lost its life. Sadly, a story too common throughout the proud running back's native land. There were over 11 million people with AIDS in Nigeria. When I looked at that number, Nigeria had 120 million people. And so that's almost 10% of the population, you know, with AIDS. I mean, that's it's devastating. There's really no health education. There, there's. And, and many times, people live with AIDS without ever really knowing that they have it and, and die. AIDS has just become one of the number one killers in the country, and it's still going to until really anything is done about it. That someone endeavoring to make a difference is Gatto, whose football idol as a kid was Christian Okoye, the Nigerian nightmare. Gatto recognizes the AIDS epidemic in his homeland as a national nightmare. And so, with a heart and a personal drive bigger than his bulging biceps, Sam Khan, a pre-med major, wants to do something about it. Move forward, he understands the power of one. He plans to return to Nigeria as a doctor. He's volunteering his services to do any job asked of him in preparation for his mission back home. I help with taking blood blood pressure, vitals, and essentially really anything the nurses needed me to do or help them do. How big is this? It's a wonderful experience because it helps me to get used to actually being a health professional, learning how to deal with patients and know when to leave a patient alone, when to talk to a patient, and just the intangibles that a health professional needs to be successful in that field. Am I, am I doing this right? To be able to help somebody when they're probably in, in a very vulnerable spot, it makes me tick and makes me want to keep doing this. Thank you very much. The inspiration for Sam Khan's passionate push to give back comes from parents who taught the rich meaning of empathy and action. Usually work ethic comes from how you're raised and I, I would imagine that his mother and father and the rest of his family are very tight and have morals and, and work hard. Someone like Sam Khan can make a difference. We all can make a difference. He has already made a lot of difference outside of uh, the NFL. His parents has instilled upon him to make sure that if you work hard, you will be rewarded for that. And everything he does is that way, and he cares about people. We tell them that whatever gifts and talents you have, it's not for your own personal consumption, but for the benefit of others. A country's cry for help is real, and Gatto hears the call. So with a running back spirited drive toward the goal line, he takes aim on making a difference that defines a winning play in life. 
now that I know and I've seen it with my own eyes, I feel like a sense of obligation, a sense of duty. Somebody can make a change. I think it begins on an individual basis. That's how change starts with, with one person. If you take the work ethic that he has on the field and applies it to being a doctor or just applies it in his life, I mean, there's nothing that he won't be able to do. If he reaches a goal, that will not be the end of it. That's only the beginning for Sam Khan. I love America, but I view myself, as long as I've been here, as a Nigerian, not as an American. Yes, I've lost my accent, but I, I'm not fooled. I'm not a U.S. citizen, I'm a Nigerian citizen. And how can I best serve my brother, being that I'm a Nigerian? I love medicine, I love health. And I know as far as I'm concerned, I do have a desire to go back and to help somehow in the health system. Right now, I mean, that I think more than anything is what I want to do with my life. And I'm willing to do it. And I, yeah, I'm, I'm willing to do it. Sam Congato, yes, the inheritance of truth.